This video covers two strategies to kill mature bucks off of food plots outside the rut. Stay tuned to see what they are and where you've been wasting your money. Chris here with Chris Fowler Outdoors, providing you with information to improve your hunting and life experiences. This channel covers product reviews, tips, how-tos, strategies, and hunting videos. Thank you for visiting, and please consider subscribing. Strategy one, number one that I've proven in the field is uh, I use the cheapest fall mix you can buy. This consists of uh, grain, oats, uh, a little clover maybe, and uh, rye. But the, the key to this, making this mix successful is uh, over the past 15 years of planting food plots, uh, in the same area, I've learned there is about a seven day period uh, when this fall mix, uh, the young wheats and grains that come up, uh, these mature bucks will move in and eat uh, off of these food plots. And that'll go up to a week or so before the rut. Uh, I don't have an explanation for it. I've just proven it to be a fact. Uh, I start these uh, course uh, early middle September when bow se archery season opens and uh, I have five food plots on the little farm that I hunt and uh, I call it uh, stage planning uh, so uh, depending on the food plots that I'm using fall mix with uh, I'll scatter my planting dates out uh, a couple of weeks uh, it depends on rain it's not going to be perfect but let's just say let's pick three food plots let's say uh, we want the first one to, to be uh, coming up about one to two inches uh, is what you're looking for. In that gap when uh, these wheats and grains come up about one to two inches tall, uh, this is the only time uh, that i found where mature bucks will feed on them. You'll have uh, tons of does, small, uh, medium-sized bucks, but the mature bucks, uh, it's been my experience, will not come out and feed on just these uh, grass food plots only during about that seven day window. Uh, it, it, it's something about the taste, I'm not sure, I'm not a biologist, uh, they can answer that better. But here's what I know for a fact, for 15 years I've been planting the same food plots using this strategy. In that about five to seven day window, there's a time when I consistently see uh, bucks over 120 uh, eating in these food plots and the thing is you'll go back six or seven days later You're still seeing deer, but you're not going to see those mature bucks uh, I'm sure other hunters you may have some uh, Skepticisms about this all I can tell you is what I've proven on my little farm that I get to hunt uh, So here's the deal uh, you want your first food plot to come in uh, right before bow season, if you're an archery hunter, uh, you want it to be about one to two inches tall uh, when bow season opens. Uh, you'll just have to uh, mess with this from year to year depending on your soils and amount of rain you get. Uh, there's no cookbook for this, it's just going to be hard experience, uh, trial and error. Uh, so you plant one, you try to get that one, uh, maybe you plant it about 30, uh, 15 to 30 days uh, ahead of time depending on uh, the rain you get. Some of these wheats will come up and it'll rain, so it may be seven days before. Uh, it, it, October and September are two dry months uh, for us where we hunt. Uh, so pick your date, plant your first food plot, and then you stage. You wait about a week and a half, two weeks, and you plant your second one. You wait about a week and a half to two weeks and you plant your third one. What you're shooting for is this window where the mature bucks will come in uh, up through about uh, the middle of October. Uh, the property that we hunt is heavily wooded outside it. There are tons of acorns and uh, eventually they'll move off these food plots uh, to uh, the hardwoods and acorns for a couple of weeks before uh, they go into rut. Uh, so I try to get about three or four of these staged food plots in the uh, small one to two inch group and try to hunt those uh, for that five or seven day window uh, where these mature bucks come out. Uh, I, I videoed this, I've proven it on my little farm. 20 acre farm, that's all I've got. I've got five little plots, uh, but uh, I'm telling you, there's something special about that young uh, weed and grain grass. They cannot resist it and they will come uh, if you plant it. All right, 
Uh, strategy number two. Strategy number two. This one's going to take some effort. Uh, but before we, before we go further in strategy number two, let me tell you where you've been wasting your money. Uh, I have bought these seeds. Uh, I bought Biologic. I bought uh, all these clovers, these high dollar seeds that are supposed to, to do great things. I have great soil where I'm hunting. And let me tell you what, what I, my experience is with, with all these seeds. They'll walk right through these high dollar seeds and they'll go over there and they'll eat the cheapest fall mix that I can buy in the ground. And that's what they'd like. I've had uh, bio biologic food plots up looking great even after the frost. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the south. Maybe they just don't like it here. I, I sent them a video of it. Didn't respond. Uh, don't know what happened there. But let me encourage you. Don't buy the high dollar seed. Buy one of two seeds. The cheap fall mix or iron clay peas. And I know some of your thoughts right now. I've tried iron clay peas. You plant them, they get two leaves on them, the deer snip them off, and they're done. I agree with you 100%. That's why you must fence it in. Look at these pictures I have of the deer that's come in and the amount of food. Uh, I told you there's two strategies. One is to get the mature bucks, get your food plots in that five or seven day window, stagger them out so you've got uh, multiple plots to hunt uh, on your farm or on your uh, property if, if possible uh, so that you've got opportunity to move around and hopefully catch one of these good deer. Strategy number two is iron clay peas. You're going to have to fence them in. I've used electric fence for the past eight years. Uh, it really worked good, great the first six years. I mean awesome. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of that. Of the fence I've used, but uh, I believe the deer have learned uh, my little trick on the fence uh, and uh, it failed me last year miserably. I put it back up. They came through it again. I had to re-put it up. This year, we're going with eight-foot uh, deer fence. And uh, it's a 10X fabric. And uh, we'll have more videos on that. Uh, but uh, I want you to, to, to consider this. If you won't buy the expensive seed, iron clay peas is, is cheap. It, it needs less water than soybeans. Okay? Uh, if you're in a, a drought tolerant uh, area, this is the perfect seed. Uh, it'll grow about uh, uh, three foot tall. It'll look like, uh, if you have kudzu in your area, it's going to look like a big old kudzu patch uh, with foliage about three foot deep. And what happens is the amount of food that you have is irresistible to these mature bucks. The very first year I planted my iron clay peas, I put my little electric fence up and I only did a probably about um, 150 by uh, maybe 100. And I took the fence down about uh, say a week before uh, bow season opened. That was the first year that I'd seen uh, bucks in the 140 range uh, in that little area. And they have, uh, they have repeated that pattern uh, every year since then. Uh, so I want to encourage you, iron clay peas, and we'll talk about, you've got two options. You can, uh, if you look online, they'll, they'll show you a little electric fence you put up. It's three foot tall. It's three foot apart, three strands on the back, two on the front. And uh, it, it's very easy to install. One person can do it theirself. Uh, I, like I said, I've used mine for eight years. I just think the deer learned it. Finally, they learned they could uh, suck up the shock there and uh, bull right through it and get through it. And these bigger bucks would go through and uh, come back next day, my fence is down. Uh, so last year it was a failure. So this year we're going with an eight foot fence. But with that said, I spent maybe uh, $600. I averaged that out over eight years, less than $100 a year on my fence. 
And I'm telling you, uh, the greatest thing, the greatest innovation uh, that I've had in my hunting uh, is going to these food plots. And when I went to iron clay peas, nothing has changed the size of the deer. I see more uh, than fencing in and producing food plots with iron clay peas. Take a look again at these pictures and uh, it is the total amount of food. This is just my opinion. Uh, but I, I'll tell you, they get out there and they eat and it's just hanging out of their mouths and it's just green leaf. All they got to do is just move their head and they're just sopping it up and they cannot resist it. Uh, it, it is a, uh, it is the very best uh, hunting tool that I have found uh, in my uh, 40 years of hunting experience. Iron clay peas, you must fence them in though. If you'll take the time and you'll spend your money where it counts, quit buying the biologists, quit buying all the great seeds, go in there and tell them you need a 50 pound bag of iron clay peas, get you one acre ready and put fence that thing in I would I would recommend using the electric uh, fence to start with. If you'll you'll Google on the internet, we'll have videos on this later. Uh, we'll have staged out on our food plots uh, the different types of fencings. But if you invest, get you a, a, a solar powered electric fence and put this fence up. You will not believe the size of deer that's in your area that you're going to see during bow season uh, before the rut ever gets there. And uh, I tell you, in about three weeks, three to four weeks, they can eat down an acre of this stuff that's three foot tall. Uh, if you can figure out how to beat the wind, I use Ozonix. Uh, you'll kill a great deer this year. Chris with Chris Fowler Outdoors giving you tips and strategies on food plots today. Uh, please comment below on uh, what my experience has been with the, uh, the uh, fall mix and the iron clay piece. And uh, comment, let me know what you think. Maybe you have different ideas or had different results. Love to hear from you. Please consider subscribing.